Hi, I'm Brian Nagley and I'm with Motorsports Land RV and today we're going to do a walk around on the 3610 Newmar Canyon Star. A couple of really nice things about this coach is this is a uh, coach is designed for the uh, family that's uh, looking for a high quality coach uh, with a lot of amenities like the higher end diesel pushers, but more or less in the gas uh, budget uh, gas motor and stuff. A couple of really nice things when you actually look at the front of the coach, what you're going to notice is first of all the full windshield in here. No brace in the center of the windshield, it is one solid piece windshield actually sealed into the cap of the coach. Nice thing about that gives you a lot better visibility on the uh, coach itself. If you actually look at the front end of the coach, this is a full body paint unit. Uh, nice thing with the full body paint, all of our paints are BSFA, BFS paints. Nice thing about that, gives you a nice clean finish on your coach and all the coaches are actually painted with the slides out so when you actually look at the side of the coach, you notice all the stripes and seams and everything match up when the slides actually do go into the coach itself. A couple other things up here on the front of the coach, first of all is the side mount cameras. Nice thing with the side mount cameras when you're going down the road and you turn on your blinker, it actually has a monitor inside so when you actually turn your blinker on, the camera comes on and shows you all the way down the side of the coach so nothing's in your blind spot and allows you with the oversized mirrors to actually change lanes safely. A couple other really nice things up here on our coach. All of our tires are uh, 22 and a half uh, inch tires or Michelin, they're a semi-grade tire, as well as the aluminum alcoil wheel. As you start to move around the side of the coach, a couple things up under here under your full wall slide on this side of the coach. I actually have some storage compartments. Uh, really nice thing about that, they are a full slam baggage latch compartment door. So when you open them up, you can actually get into your storage compartments. This front one actually houses your propane tank. The unit has 25 gallons of propane on board. Uh, mounted up underneath the coach, very easy to fill, very accessible when the slide's in or you pull into a gas station to have your propane refilled. As you move down the side of the coach, there is more storage in the side of the coach. Nice big off-door storage compartment here. It is lit so you can actually get into it and you got two doors of access to get into this storage. Uh, nice place to put anything that uh, um, you want to actually store up into your coach lawn chairs or anything like that. One of the nicer things why we're down underneath the coach itself is uh, the slide out mechanisms that Newmar does put into their coach. Uh, large cog wheel slide out system on their coach. Uh, Newmar was the first one to put a slide out in a motorhome back in 1991. Uh, their technology, one of the innovators of the slide out technology for the uh, Newmar line. As we move down around this coach a little bit further, here is our docking station on the coach. Very nice and clean docking station, all rotocast and completely sealed. They're seamless in the rotocast. Uh, you got your uh, hot and cold outside shower. Outside tank monitors, nice thing with the outside tank monitors. They actually monitor the, uh, the tank so no debris or anything gets put on the monitor on the inside of the tank. It is a lit docking station as well. All your valves and everything located up in this compartment. As we move towards the back of the coach, one more thing I do want to show you on the off-door side is you're actually all of our uh, uh, new Mark Canyon stars come standard with a 5500 watt owning generator on it as a gas power generator and capable to run 50 amp service on the unit. You do have some storage and it is pass through storage if you actually look on here. I'll show you a little bit more on the other side of the coach, but this does pass through to the other side as well. Sewage drain back here in the back compartment as well as your 50 amp cord. This is a 50 amp service unit because it does have dual ACs on the unit as well. So black tank flush back here in the back. As you move around the back of the coach, the unit is equipped with a class three receiver hitch. Nice thing with the class three receiver hitch, this unit does have over 5,000 pounds of towing capacity and over 350 pounds of actual direct tongue weight to it. Uh, comes a little, uh, already equipped with a seven prong plug. The nice thing about seven prong plug is a plug and play setup if you do want to put a brake control on it or have a boat or something that you're towing that does have brake control. Backup camera, the nice thing with the backup camera on the back unit of our coach, it is actually set underneath the lip, so no debris, the camera's not going to get wet or anything like that. The water's just going to kind of roll off the back of the coach. You can be able to really uh, see nicely behind you as you're backing into any camp spots or anything like that as well. 
as you move around to this side of the coach, all the compartment doors along this side of the coach are actually baggage storage. The nice thing about them being storage, they're all lockable, as well as lit storage compartments that give you lots of room to go through. This is the other side of that uh, door I was showing you that does have full pass-through storage. If you actually look, it goes all the way across underneath the floor of the actual coach itself. Another nice thing down here, all of the bottoms of the uh, Newmar coaches are actually sealed and powder coated. The nice thing with the powder coating of the frame, when driving in Utah roads, they're not always uh, clean or dry. Uh, got some water on them, usually some salt from winter. So actually powder coating the bottom of the coach uh, gives it a nice finish and it's gonna allow the coach not to rust over a period of time. As we move along the side of our uh, coach a little bit more, some more baggage doors as you pull through. They all are hinged baggage doors on nice heavy duty gas struts. Everything is lit as well. Outside entertainment on this unit. Nice thing about having an outside entertainment center, we do have an actual flat screen. It is controlled from inside the coach. It does come with its own remote. Has its own speakers out here, as well as a stereo, play, uh, stereo uh, CD, DVD player out here as well. So you can actually watch movies outside your coach, underneath your awning when you're in a campground, or entertaining with friends. As we move up to the door of the coach, our water heater is located on this side of the coach. Nice thing with our water heater, this is a 10 gallon gas electric water heater with direct spark ignition. Nice thing about that is you don't have to come outside the coach to your water heater, it's all button push. You can run it on your electrical side if you're plugged into a campground or you got your generator running, or if you want a little bit harder water, you run it on your propane side. Notice we have three entry steps into our coach. The nice thing with three entry steps, puts it very low to the ground and allows you uh, easy access into your 30 inch radius door in, on your coach. Come on inside, we'll talk about a few features inside. First of all, I'm gonna sit in the cockpit area of our uh, 3610 Newmar Canyon Star. Nice thing is you're sitting here in the driver's seat. This is a six way power driver's seat. Nice thing about a six way power driver's seat is you can actually move the seat, control it any way you want, six different directions with six different power controls on the side of the coach. Notice the full windshield on here as we talked about earlier. Gives you a nice, easy uh, range of view outside your coach. No obstruction in the center of the coach as well. As well as you got a nightshade that does come down for when you're camping, you want your privacy on both sides of the coach. In our dash, we actually have our stereo and our video camera. The nice thing about the video camera, this is all located for your rear backup camera as well as your two side mount cameras down the side and your stereo is equipped also with GPS unit uh, in there. You can download any of your GPS maps so you can figure out where you're going. Unit also has a couple of USB ports over here for laptops, cell phones, iPhones, uh, iPod players, anything that you want to actually plug into your dash. We got 12 volt receptacles, everything located right here for the driver that he might need to uh, go down the road. If you move over to our passenger seat, we do have dual armrests over here as well. We have a 12 volt and a USB port right down here in the bottom of it, as well as lift out tray. Nice thing with the lift out tray, if you have a laptop or anything for the passenger, they want to do something that's going down the road, they do have the capability to do that, as well as an overhead lamp and cup holder up here for the passenger. As we move back into the main cockpit area of this coach, this is where this coach really excels. It has the higher end feel of a diesel pusher, but uh, a couple really nice things when you actually look into the coach. First of all, our high premium tile floor. This is actually a linoleum tile floor. It is not a ceramic setup. Uh, so it's a very nice heavy duty floor. It's got a lot of durability to it. Uh, diagonal mounted tiles, so they actually look really nice. They're completely grouted in. It's a really nice uh, setup on the floor. The interior of our coaches come in three different woods colors. This is the Sienna Maple. Uh, there's a bisque, which is a very, very light color of wood. And then there's an Empire, which is a very, very dark color of wood. This is kind of the medium color. This is called Sienna Maple again. As you look at the galley of our uh, 3610, a couple really nice things. Uh, storage drawers, lots of cabinetry storage in this unit as well. As you look through, 
All of your drawers do sit on full extension drawer guys. They're all aluminum with ball bearing. Allow your drawers to pull out. Full extended, easy access into your drawers. Uh, this is a solid Corian cut countertop in here. The nice thing with Corian countertop. Gives a really nice finish. Same things that you're finding in a lot of your homes as well as your backsplash is Corian with some glass inlay to actually dress it up and make it look really, really nice in the unit. As you move over to your uh, microwave convection oven, it is a convection microwave. It is a full residential style. So it's a full size microwave convection oven, as well as down in here, you do have a bifold drawer with a three burner cooktop. As we move along into our uh, galley of our coach, uh, nice thing about this coach is we actually equip this with the three-way fridge. It's gas, electric, or automatic. Uh, a lot of coaches this size are going to a residential style fridge, which you'd actually need an inverter and things like that to run. The nice thing about this 12 cubic foot fridge in this coach, it is a dual door fridge, gives you lots of storage inside of it, but it can be run on propane or off of your batteries or generator. The freezer is a dual side freezer as well as it does have an ice maker in it as well. Nice thing about that is you have an ice maker, you can make your own ice in the unit. A lot of coaches in this price range don't include those. As we move over to our actual entertainment side of the coach, uh, first thing I want to show you is our actual dinette booth. The nice thing with our dinette booth, it will fit a uh, seat for full size adults and does have drawer storage under both sides of it. A nice thing about drawer storage under here, you can actually put pots, pans, things that you actually need that don't want, you don't want taking up room in your storage in your kitchen, you can actually move them underneath your actual dinette booth. The table does drop down, it is mounted to the wall of the coach and sits on a gas strut, so no legs or anything to pull out. If you want to drop the table, you just remove the latch here and push the table down, it slides into position to make a bed here for sleeping capacity. As we move around to our sofa over here on this side, uh, we use a flex steel sofa with a pleather like wrapping on it. The nice thing about this sofa is you actually got your sofa here, but if you want to actually extend the sofa itself, it does pull out and sets up to make a nice J sofa on the unit. It's very easily done. It's just pulls and locks into place. You grab your cushion off of here off the side. You do hang this on the backrest so it doesn't fall through and then you just slide your cushion into place and now you've got an actual sectional sofa in the coach it's easy easily put away same way as i just took it up put your cushion back in there take your backrest piece off lift from behind and slide in put your tight uh backrest here pull the latch inside here and it just slides right back into position into the couch. This does make into a hide -a bed as well. Gives you sleeping for maybe two more full size adults. Nice thing into the actual cockpit living area of the coach. We do have a central vac on this unit. Nice thing with the central vac, you can vacuum your carpet, your floor, keep all the dust, dirt, any grime that gets on your floor in the unit itself. I do have storage above my TV. Nice thing with my fireplace, this is a 5100 BTU watt uh, fireplace. The nice thing about that is it will heat up to 400 square feet. It's not just a looking fireplace, it actually is a convection heater, it runs off electricity. Our 42 inch entertainment TV, center TV, nice thing about this, gives you a nice view from the dinette booth or as well as from the couch. Uh, nice entertainment center, it's actually put to the back of the coach. If somebody does wanna watch a different TV, there's one located in the front of the coach as well as the third tv in the bedroom this is a bath and a half unit the nice thing about this is i do have actually two bathrooms in the unit this is a half bath with a full porcelain head as well as a full medicine cabinet and storage up underneath my sink this is a laminated countertop with actual corium uh, nose guarding on it it does actually add to the fill of the coach it's very heavy duty and durable you also if you step inside you do have a full storage closet in the very back of it for any toiletries, towels, or anything that you do need to put into the actual bathroom itself. Solid wood slatted doors. The nice thing with the slatted door, it's not just an actual pocket door. It actually adds some class and some uh, look and a curb appeal to the actual coach itself. Nice door, looks very residential as you put it in. As we step onto this side of our coach, 
This is our actual nice thing about this. This coach is uh, prepped for washer and dryer. If you do not put a washer and dryer in here, you actually have a full size closet. That does light up as well. Gives you two racks of uh, uh, clothing ward hanging, um, as well as you've got the washer dryer connections in here as well. As we move to the back of our coach, uh, our coach is equipped with a queen size bed. The nice thing with the queen size bed is I do have nightstands on both sides, as well in the slide out, they actually put two uh, windows in here. So you do get cross ventilation in here. So back in here, I do have another 32 inch TV. Nice thing with 30 inch TV, it's actually run separately off of all the different TVs in the coach. So somebody can actually be back here in the bedroom watching TV as well. On both sides of the TV, I do have two large closet wards. Uh, allowing you to hang any shirting or sweatshirts or anything that you do take along with you on road trips. As well as I have two uh, full extension dresser drawers. I have three across the bottom and two in, uh, three into the uh, main, main area of the uh, closet ward. As we step back into your full bathroom back here in the back, there's a lot to talk about in here. Like I said, this is a bath and a half coach. Nice thing about this, this is actually your full bathroom. So I do have lots of storage back here for toiletries or anything that you do want to put into the coach itself. Uh, it does have an actual large closet in here for towels, linens, sheets, anything that you take uh, uh, on a road trip with you, you can actually store back here in this large uh, linen closet and actually keep it out of the way uh, from everything else. Full uh, porcelain foot flush toilet, as well as a fully laminated countertop here with the Corian bullnose uh, molding on it as well as full extension drawer guides as well as storage underneath your sink area 36 inch radius shower the nice thing about the 36 inch radius shower does have a full skylight in it notice it is a glass door shower that do roll and close shut and lock into position nice thing about that i'm not a very small guy so in the shower being 36 inch radius i can actually turn around and move in the shower Skylight and the faucet is actually up above my head where it's supposed to be. As we move back into the forward portion of our coach. One last thing I do want to explain to you is up here in the for, uh, forward portion of our coach. Uh, Newmar actually talked to a lot of their customers and they did uh, uh, figure out a way so shorter customers and not could actually see their monitoring panels and everything into their coach. This is your full power setup in here. You've got your awning, your battery disconnect. You do have your dual tanks, so you can switch both tanks up here, as well as your Magnum setup. The coach is equipped with a six watt solar panel on it. Nice thing with having a six watt solar panel on the unit. It does keep your batteries up and charged when you're out, uh, you know, meandering around the city or anything like that, or out in the woods and stuff, as long as there's sun beating on the roof of the coach, your batteries will keep a nice deep uh, trickle charge. You got your step disconnect and you got your water heater setups right here so you can flip it to your gas or electric side. This is how we do keep our uh, levels on our batteries as well as our full power control, your 50 amp gen, your 30 amp or 20 amp cords. Uh, fantastic fan in the kitchen, the nice thing with the fantastic fan in the kitchen. If you are cooking inside your coach, you can set it and evacuate the air out or bring air in, however you would like to do that. Another nice thing with the coach, like I said earlier, it does have dual ACs on it. 13.5 uh, BTU watt AC units in it. The nice thing with the 13,500 BTU watt AC, it does blow a lot of cold air. It runs on the 50 amp service and the forward uh, unit on this unit does have a heat pump in that as well. Thank you for taking the time to uh, do a walkthrough with us on the 3610 Numar. If you have any questions, you can see our entire Numar line online at motorsportsland.com or come down and talk to me or one of our uh, uh, sales professionals to show you the entire lineup of Newmar Motorhomes.